Videos making the rounds online show Catherine Smith yelling racial slurs like the N-word at a black family living in Midvale. There have been numerous other things, just little comments, but the stuff that really gets to my clients are the comments to the kids. And that's the stuff that really gets to me too. Tyler Ayers is a civil rights attorney representing the family in what he hopes will be a civil lawsuit. So I believe that she's committed class B misdemeanors and civil rights violations. So I think the civil rights violations should be handled by the federal government. There should be an investigation. And anybody else who, who is involved, and that would include the people that didn't arrest her. Officers with the Unified Police Department did arrest her last night. They wouldn't say why it happened last night specifically and not earlier, but they confirm it was for warrants issued in August and September. Those warrants include disorderly conduct, property damage, and destruction after court docs show she ripped up the family's garden, and for an assault that allegedly happened in June, documents saying Smith forcefully poked the victim's pregnant stomach right before pushing her with both hands in the stomach. Ayers says he worries what the most recent arrest means when it comes to possible retaliation from Smith. And you've watched all the videos, right? I mean, this lady is spiteful. He says he's meeting with the FBI Wednesday. So because it's on social media and it's multi-state, then the FBI investigates to determine whether or not this woman, uh, this woman and this HOA have violated their civil rights. The family does not want to go on camera at this time. Ayers saying they just want peace and for the alleged harassment to stop. I asked the Unified Police Department several questions, including why Smith wasn't arrested earlier. They say they can't comment at this time. Live in Midvale, Lucy Nelson, Fox 13 News, Utah.